All right, here we are getting all the prospecting stuff out of the car. Next thing we got to get is that battery out of there. Digging some gold here with my buddy Doug. We'll get some video today. Got to have We're going to run that all day, and hopefully it'll start the car when we get back. <laughs> so we'll see you on the slide down to the spot. All right. Taking the sluice box and buckets. Battery and pump. And battery and the pump. Once you commit, that's it. You're going down once you start. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Finding operation. <laughs> Possible gold site right there. Mr. Richards. When you need them by now. Is it frozen? Not frozen, just it's solid, it's packed in, you know. That's the biggest shovel full I ever seen. See it, but we run 10 buckets. Yeah, 10 buckets, and we still got 12 volts on the old car battery over there. We're hoping it still starts the car after we're done. We're gonna try for six more and turn the pump on. Got the pump over there in the river. Up there, ready to shoot it up, man. Got the old high banker going. Got What's the purpose dugging. of What's the person cleaning these rocks out all the time? So we get all the gold down to the cars. That's what the end. What if you get too much rock piled up here? Sweep it off. Dirt piles off, huh? Yeah, you sweep it off. And all don't right. you see all the small stuff down? Scoop it, scoop it, scoop it. There's kind of a little ramp system going in here for it. I think we need a little bit more, man. A little more water? Thought we were running. Oh, yeah, we need a little more water. Oh, yeah. Come on over here. 
turn it up a little more. So we're about eight volts. Power good. So I'm moving those big rocks. And it's a little faster guys. Yeah. Definitely, uh, a little faster? Yeah, it's not running as fast. Start splashing. Turn it up. There we go. Eight volts. That, that's about it right there, I think. See how fast it runs this turn out. Yeah, that's about right. Agree? Yeah, I see the black line showing up in the front. See the color down in there, kind of. I'll show you the color at the end of the video. Mr. Richard says, nothing better than washing rocks on a weekend. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful out. Well, it's like about 60 degrees. At least 60 today. At least. We're pretty dressed up, so. Hey, we've got about 3 sixteenths and quarter inch spacing. Think about how many rocks we got jammed in it. Well, time to go float you some more buckets before you run out of dirt, huh? Get on it. All right. Get my neoprene gloves on. Hopefully my sleeves will keep me cool. Woo! Best $15 I've ever spent, and it came with a free beanie. Oh, yeah. We got matching beanies. That's pretty gay, but. <laughs> matching beanies. There they are. We didn't do it on purpose. It was a good, really good deal, though. We had to settle. We couldn't get the freaking armpit sleeve gloves. Yeah, anyone know where you can get some shoulder length gloves? Now it's Shoot 8 in the morning. Email. We didn't get paid till yesterday. Yeah. Well, Couldn't order them. Lost my them credit do. card. Laptop's broken, but guess what? Washing rocks. Washing rocks. Couldn't be happier. Well, here we are after making a little beach here. 18 buckets. Dug up out of the river with our nice fancy gloves. Put there. Please, <laughs> That's a pretty good color in there. Yeah, just cross it down. 316 cross, still cross play. Got a pump over there. We had it setting up on the high up there on the bank the other day. And we didn't have the right shoes on. And we got them in our shoes today, and now we're down here in the river. So we're hoping the old car starts after we're done here. So we'll be back once we get this splash rib out of there and clean it. Mine and Moss, we've been checking out a couple times. I want to clean that. A lot of gold in that area. It's kind of dark now, but... Yeah, sun's not on it anymore. We'll be back, show to you. Last bucket, 18 -0. Oh, I wasn't even recording. Damn it. Good God, Jared, that's freaking great. Here's our black rib clean out. You see it? Yeah, he sunk some of it, but there's enough yeah. there. There's a bunch in there. They'll see it on the table. So we're hoping 
11.7 volts on the car battery will start us. We'll see you back at the trunk. Been a good day of moving some dirt. Made ourselves a little island here. There's our 18 buckets. Almost got to the pump. Sweet! You can see my digging bucket seen better days. I think this one's about time to retire after 18 buckets. <sighs> All right, 18 buckets, five gallons. Who knows how many pounds that was. Now the battery. Test. Can you get us home, please? Yeah, I oh, hope. Napa is... Uh... Yeah. Nap go. Auto Parts in case we need a battery charge. Not too far away, but really don't want to have to walk over there. So I can barely walk to the car. Well, this is a setup that gets us everywhere. Seems to work. Got the pump in there. Got our slip box right here. be a fight on this video if it doesn't start. Yeah. <laughs> no kick in my butt. Yep, and that's how he runs his pump, folks. You get more bang for the buck, why would you buy another battery? You already got it's a battery. good one too, an Optima. Best battery you could possibly buy. I saw a spark. And it's marine. Deep cycle. Truth or dare, all day. What do you say we ran it? Probably six or seven hours? Uh, let's see, you know, it's four o'clock, right at 11, 12, one, two, three. Ran it about five hours straight. Right. Maybe six, all right. Put that back in my Beamer toolkit. All right, here's the moment of truth, folks. I put the battery tray on, but I don't know if it's gonna start. Dun 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 dun. It's pretty confident putting on trim. <laughs> Cosmetically. Oh, come on, Bina. Come on, Germans. Sounds good. Sounds good. Heater's going. Oh! oh we're out of here. <laughs> yeah. All day. All right. Let's load her up. And that's how it all fits in the trunk, including the battery. 328. Oh, baby! <laughs> Will it shut? Will it shut? Give it a shut. Oh, yeah. We're out of here.